If you have installed down theme in your Shopify store and you want that in your product page, there should be a product image slider like this. On my screen, you can see that this is a simple slider which you can also add in your uh, Shopify store. So you only need to follow the steps which I will be showing you in this video. You should completely watch the video and then after you will get to know that even if you don't know how to code but still you can copy and paste the code by following each step you will accomplish this specific feature into your store. So first of all, I am interested to show you that I have written this blog post. I will be adding the link below in the description. So you should follow this blog post along with this video. So in that way, you will complete the uh, whole uh, feature. So uh, let me refresh this page. Actually, I removed the code because I want that uh, you should follow each of the step. So you can see that I have removed that and uh, let's see how we can uh, do the code once again. <clears throat> and this is the Shopify uh, dashboard. So here what you have to do is, first of all, you should go to the blog post and then you should follow these steps. So the first thing is go to theme, action, edit code, layout, theme.liquid. So in the dashboard, you should click on theme, then you should click on actions here you can see that we have down theme installed so you should click on actions then click on edit code you will be finding some folders and files here so first of all you should uh, click on layout then you should click on theme.liquid and the next step is find uh, this specific tag into your uh, theme.liquid file and paste below code just above this closing head tag. Actually, this is called as uh, close head tag. So I should uh, find here control F or maybe a command F. Once you are uh, pasting here that specific tag and you will see that this uh, yellow color would be highlighted. And just above this, I am going to paste this code. So this is the code, you should copy it and paste it just above. All right, so this is the code, then you should save these changes. The next step is open sections, man dot man dash product or liquid and find below code. So I'm going here in sections. Here you can see that this is sections. Let me close this. And then after you should find here man dash product.liquid so this is man-product.liquid open it and then you should find this specific code I'm going to copy this and let me control F or maybe command F and then you can see that this is actually uh, that line and I should click on this small little arrow so this will close the complete tag and you can see that this is the complete tag Actually, slider dash component is started from here and slider dash component is ended here. I need to replace this whole code with this code, this below code. But let me show you if you are opening this tag and you should click on it and go down. And here you can see that slider dash component. So press shift and select this whole code and then delete it and press enter key so that you uh, create some space for better understanding. Then you should select this whole line of code, copy it and paste it over here. So I pasted that code. Then after you should follow the fifth step, which is find schema. So this is schema, copy this, control F. So here you can see that this is schema and in the sam man dash product dot liquid file and paste below code just above schema so actually we need to copy this whole code and paste this just above this schema so you just press enter key so that you could create a space and then paste that new code which we have copied just now from here next up is go to assets then open base.css and paste below code at last. So first of all, let me save these changes and let's close this tag, I'll close this file and let me close this sections and then go to assets, open base.css and at the end, you should scroll it down and at the end, you have to paste this, uh, this code. 
so I'm going to copy this and then after paste at last line so you should press enter key to create some space let me paste that and here you can see that I have pasted that code here and then save these changes then after you should go to the seventh step again go to assets then we have global.js and find below code so you should find here let me close this and in the same assets folder you scroll it down and down below you will be getting a global.js file click on it open it and then after you should find this constructor super and this uh, new line all right <clears throat> so these are the three lines so you should find that let me copy this first line and let's uh, press ctrl f and paste it here so you can see that uh, this constructor and open tag is open uh, curly braces uh, highlighted and you can see that inside of this uh, this is not matching with these two lines so let's uh, click on this arrow so this is finding another this is also not similar then finding another this is also not similar then click and finally you will get this kind of uh, code here so you can see here that constructor then super then this dot add event listener change so this code is matching with uh, this all right so for the sake of understanding you can also uh, see the uh, line number so this will help you to understand so these are actually the four lines of code you should replace with this eighth step and the eighth step is replace the above code with below code so i copied that code and let me remove this and paste new code so i pasted it and then after you should go to find below code in the same global.js file so this is also one of the code you should find this function actually i am going to copy it and let con let me press ctrl f and paste it here so this is update media so actually this is the only function here so here you can see that if i am pressing uh, if i am clicking here this is open curly brace and this is closing curly brace i need to select this hole and then replace with the new code which is this one so i am going to copy this whole line and then after going to replace this let me delete this and then uh, control v that is to paste it all right so i pasted new code then after you should scroll it down and uh, finally we end up with all the steps let me save the changes and now we are done so let me refresh this page again and here we go so now you can see that we have successfully integrated that product image slider uh, you can see that this is sliding beautifully and if you are clicking on this then this is also working fine so i hope that you better understood that how you can add this uh, product images slider into your shopify down theme if you still face any issue you can contact me i have added contact details below in the description you can whatsapp me uh, and message me or maybe e sending send an email so if you are thinking that this is little difficult so i can also do for you and if you have any other project to work on maybe uh, that is related to react.js creating a website mobile app or anything so you can hire me also so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and uh, because in that way i will upload more videos according to your requirement and ask me questions below in the comment section if you want any new video on a specific uh, topic then you can also ask me in that so thank you once again so one last thing which i wanted to mention you is that i have created one website keywords.com so here i have created a lot of tools for example this is a keywords volume checker and this is keyword volume checker for example for example i am uh, adding here a keyword then pressing this search and here you can see that i have a lot of details related to keywords uh, last 12 month average searches and we have average cost per click competition so if you want to do seo for your uh, website you can also use this website because this is really helping your business and another is youtube tools so if you are a youtuber then you can create uh, tags and you can also create description you can extract tags of other uh, youtubers 
and for uh, just a moment for example you have copied a video link and you want the tags of that video so here you can see that this is the video tag which someone else has used then you can create thumbnails actually you can download thumbnails of other people so for example this is one video and I just fetched that uh, video thumbnail and you can download from here hashtag generator title generator channel audits so there are a lot of stuff over here you can also explore all the tools so if you are facing an issue you can ask me so thank you once again see you in the next video